did you know there are currently 74 mods available in Path of Titans? There are still hundreds more still to come to the game. And today, I'm counting down five of the ones that you should be excited for, the most promising upcoming mods. Of course, let me know in the comments what your top five list is for mods to come to Path of Titans, but let's dive into them. We're kicking off this list with a large pharopod dinosaur, and it won't be the last large pharopod dinosaur on this list. This is Saurophaganax, the Lord of the Lizard Eaters. Saurophaganax is known as being one of the largest allosaurid dinosaurs and also hails from the same formation from the same time period as Allosaurus itself. However, of course, it's bigger. This comes from the late Jurassic and was the largest terrestrial carnivore at its time, reaching upwards of 10.5 meters in length and between 2.7 to 3.8 metric tons. This is essentially Allosaurus on steroids. However, there was some time before and some scientists still think that this could just be a big version of Allosaurus itself. This is a dinosaur being made by the Wrath of Goliath's team. The same team that's making Dimetrodon or has made and released Dimetrodon and Tenontosaurus as well as a whole plethora of mods as well. Unfortunately however, Saurophaganax can't get any further in this list in my eyes. Although it's gonna be a menace regardless, it is distinguished as a clone species by its creators, indicating that this will have the same stats and animations as the base game Allosaurus. It will just differ from model, skins, calls and all that. Nevertheless, this beast is going to have a beautiful model and if it's anything like the detail on the Dimetrodon model, this one is going to look absolutely beautiful and we already see the model itself and it looks incredible. So, a good dinosaur to start the list off in 5th place. Now, let's go ahead and check out a non-dinosaur. And if you are an arachnophobe, you may want to skip this part. And this is 4th place. A giant fictional spider. Sort of. This is technically real, and to an extent it is. Like, the name Giga Arachne is real, and it's based... Uh, the name is based obviously from a real creature, however, the fact and the size of this creature is not real. So if you are an arachnophobe, it's time to skip it or you can hop into Lethal Company and switch on arachnophobe mode and you'll just see the name tag Spider. However, I do not have the ability to have a separate theme for this video where it's just that or my face. Uh, that being said, this will be a terrifying mod for anyone and will probably give me arachnophobia as well. This will be massive. A large spider putting the Giga into Giga Arachne. This will literally be wider than Eo Triceratops. There's a size comparison that the community voted on. They voted on the biggest one. Literally, it's compared to Eo Triceratops. So this will probably either be a, a four slot or a five slot for an apex. And it's going to be an apex probably. And it's a spider. And that is insane. This is being brought to life, brought to the game by the XR Giller team, spearheaded by Rogue Terror, who's working on the model. And this, although it has a model, it's going for a remodel currently. If it's anything like the model that was of the past, this thing is going to look absolutely insane. And hopefully the stats, the attributes, all that live up to it as well. The Giga Arachne will be striking fear into everyone and giving more people, like myself, arachnophobia. Unless you are one of them weirdos who's just gonna go up to him and be like, oh my good little spider, so cute. If you're one of them people, check yourself into a mental asylum. Unless it's a jumping Aww. spider. If it's a jumping spider with the big cute beady fat eyes and the big face, the cute face, that's fine. This thing, I don't want to see anyone go, me, 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 me. No. <laughs> The second Mosasaur to be coming to Path of Titans is Prognathodon, and this one, arguably in my eyes, could pass as an official creature, especially when you see the screenshot shared by the developers of the mod of it in-game. Prognathodon is a large Mosasaur from the Cretaceous and has been found all over the world, from the Middle East 
Europe, New Zealand and North America. 12 nominal species of this beast are currently recognised, however due to the nature of a lot of these, they are technically quite controversial and have been assigned to other creatures like Dolosaurus or Brachysaurana, but these have also been called under question as well and are quite controversial from their decisions. Prognathodon is going to be big. It's roughly 10 meters long, making it a contender of the high seas. This is a mod being developed by the Arizoa folks and you may know who they are because, well, they are literally one of the bigger servers in the game. And compared to the previous two mods that have been mentioned in this list, this one is quite close to release. We have some in-game screenshots and a lot more to showcase from this guy and well, it looks like it's getting closer and closer by the day. Are you excited for Prognathodon and will you be playing it or checking it out when it releases? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Speaking of something we may see soon and something that is definitely one of the mods that you will be excited for and I will definitely bet is a contender for one of the fan favourite upcoming mods and rightfully deserves second place is the Absentia Acrocanthosaurus, a genus of large Carcharodontosaurid dinosaur from the early Cretaceous of North America. This hails from the states of Oklahoma, Texas, and Wyoming, and uh, apparently Maryland as well. Why the why the hell are you in Maryland? I'm also probably mispronouncing that state, but. I'm not American, so that would probably make a lot of sense. That being said, this beast is not as big as the others in its family, like Giganotosaurus, Mapusaurus, and Carcharodontosaurus. However, it still is a big dinosaur. Over 10 meters long, once again, this is an apex carnivore and will definitely set the theme of what this mod offers in the future because this is their first mod, their debut mod for the game. And let's be honest, the Absentia team have been killing it. This is something that would also fit as an official dinosaur. In fact, this would fit as a dinosaur that's officially from a AAA title. Have you seen the detail? Have you seen the variation of the subspecies, the skins, the plethora of skins that have been made by the community? This thing looks absolutely insane and I cannot wait to see this in game and get my hands on it and I know damn well a lot of you guys watching this video can't wait to get your hands on it as well. This is gonna be great but now that begs the question what is number one gonna be? <laughs> constricting its opponents to make its way into first place. I think a lot of you might have known this one was gonna be number one. This is Titanoboa and it slivers and constricts its way into first place. And if you hate snakes, well, unfortunately, the video ends here. Goodbye. Uh, that being said, this crocodile muncher will not be for you. This is one of the largest, if not the biggest snake to ever exist. This is a large extinct genus of boid, the family that includes boas and anacondas coming from Colombia and you can definitely see that this geezer has snorted all of Pablo Escobar's cocaine because it's absolutely off its rocker. This thing's huge, it's massive, like there is no amount of steroids that would replicate what this thing is. 12.8 to 14.3 meters in length, this thing was massive and there's no surprise people first coined it a dinosaur killer despite it not even living with the dinosaurs. There's art of it fighting dinosaurs and yet it never came up against the dinosaurs but now you'll be able to see what Titanoboa will be like against the dinosaurs because when it comes to the game it will be wrecking havoc. This is made by the Divine Beast team and although it's not in proper development yet they have staked their claim that they will be bringing this to the game and well they did also say it's going to be difficult but it will will happen. This will definitely be the first snake to come to the game unless someone just drops a surprise bomb on us. We'll also get a constriction ability, draining oxygen of your opponent so you literally constrict them until their last breath has been brief. The Titanoboa will surely be a menace to anyone and will break boundaries in terms of what Path of Titans modding and even the developers strive for as well because well, bringing a snake to a game like this is no easy feat and the Divine Beast team have bit off that big chunk of a task. 
and we can't wait to see what it looks like and what it will be like in the game. Anyways, everybody, that is everything for now. Let me know what your top five list is in the comments. Do you share any of the same creatures here, or was my top five list completely different? If you are new, feel free to subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.